Let's turn the spotlight to the other three major candidates in the running for the May 9th presidential election. They fanned out across the nation in a bid to reach out to more voters. Here's Connie Kim with a closer look. South Korea is in full-on election mode as the presidential hopefuls crisscross the nation on the first weekend of the campaign period. Hong Jun-pyo, the candidate for the conservative Liberty Korea Party, sought to win over undecided voters by visiting Korea's central Chungcheongbuk-do province, a region home to many swing voters. Our party head is also from Chungcheongbuk-do. I want to make a conservative bloc combining Yongnam and Chungcheong. On his second visit to the province since the campaign began, Hong promoted his pledge to the region of making Osong train station the country's transportation base. He also highlighted his promise to expand major highways to make Chungcheongbuk-do a distribution hub. The former governor of Gyeongsangnam-do province then made his way up to Seoul Station, where he joined some 100,000 supporters, including those opposed to former President Park Geun-hye's impeachment. Using mean of the splinter conservative Paden Party traveled to the conservative stronghold of Yongnam, as the ratings of his rival conservative in the race Hong Jun-pyo have been shooting up in the area. With your support, as the president, I will transform the country into a completely new Korea. He vowed to set up an outer circular road in South Korea's seventh largest metropolis, Ulsan, and attract more universities to the region. The Paden Party's presidential candidate then pressed on, visiting traditional markets in Gyeongju and Gyeongsan and in the conservative power base of Daegu. Shim sang of the minor leftist Justice Party spent her Saturday targeting voters in Korea's strongly liberal southwest, making stops in Suncheon, Jeonnam and Gwangju. Farmers and citizens of Suncheon, I promise to be responsible. I will overhaul the country's 60-year-old system of the haves and have-nots with drastic reforms. I'll make this a country where farmers are proud, laborers are proud, business owners can thrive, and where women can have a dream. Focusing on her environmentally friendly pledges, the only woman running for president visited an eco-friendly agricultural district and a festival in Kure. With just 17 days on the clock and a lot of ground to make up on the two front runners, the race to win over undecided voters is getting more fierce by the day. Connie Kim, Arirang News.